part of the major incident team investigation, Oregon State Police Crime Lab forensic scientists examined the truck driven by Mr. Finnegan and found four distinct bullet holes, three of which we have already gone over with you. To refer you to this diagram, these are the three prior shots that we had discussed. This is the fourth shot that they found into the roof of the truck. In the early stages of the investigation, we could not explain the fourth shot into the roof of the truck or its trajectory, given the placement of the Oregon State Police Troopers at the time. We had conclusive evidence that the Oregon State Police Troopers fired six shots, the three that hit the truck and the three that hit Mr. Finnegan. During the course of our investigation, we discovered evidence that an FBI HRT operator fired two shots as Mr. Finnegan exited the truck, and one shot hit the truck. The footage from Ms. Cox's camera confirms this. Neither of these two shots fired by FBI HRT operators struck Mr. Finnegan. The HRT operators were interviewed on the evening of January 26th and again on February 5th and 6th during the investigation by the major incident team. Of particular concern to all of us is that the FBI HRT operators did not disclose their shots to our investigators, nor did they disclose specific actions they took after the shooting. The failure by HRT operators to disclose that they fired shots during this contact and actions they took after the shooting are the subject of an ongoing investigation by both the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office and the Inspector General of the United States Department of Justice. The Inspector General is a separate department of the Department of Justice responsible for investigating mis misconduct by Department of Justice personnel. I want to be clear where the process goes from here. The investigation remains open and in the hands of the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office. The Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Justice is now also investigating. We deserve to know that our law enforcement officers at the local, state, and federal level act appropriately within the scope of the law. We know without a doubt that the Oregon State Police Troopers who shot Mr. Finnegan did so as they moved to protect themselves and their fellow officers from imminent harm. <clears throat> Mr. Finnegan repeatedly and knowingly made choices that put him, Robert Lavoie Finnegan, in this situation. It was not the outcome that any of us wanted, but one that he alone is responsible for. As you have heard today, the investigation conducted by the Tri-County Major Incident Team determined that OSP troopers fired three shots at Mr. Benicum's vehicle as it approached the law enforcement barricade at a high rate of speed. The vehicle nearly hit a law enforcement officer. The team also determined OSP troopers fired three additional shots that struck and killed Mr. Finnegan as he reached for his weapon after exiting his vehicle. The county investigation further indicates that in between the two series of shots fired by OSP troopers, one and possibly two additional shots were fired by law enforcement as Mr. Finnegan was exiting his vehicle immediately after hitting his building. As autopsy results confirm, neither of these shots struck Mr. The question of who fired these shots has not been resolved. Upon learning this, and given the presence of FBI um, agents on scene, I immediately contacted our inspection division, which in turn notified the United States Department of Justice, Office of Inspector General, which is currently investigating the matter. Because this is an ongoing investigation, it would be inappropriate for me or anyone else to speculate or comment on but I can assure you the FBI is cooperating fully with the Office of Inspector General. 